Jamaicans worldwide are celebrating the birthday of Miss Louise Bennett Coverley as Google shows honor in a doodle. Greetings, greetings, and salutations to all nations. Ladies and gentlemen, you know I'm Rastafari Soldier of the Approach yes, TV. And if this is your first time tuning in, good, How you guys doing out ladies there? and gentlemen, I'm asking time, you to hit that red subscribe healthy. button. And I'm sure we're going to have a great relationship, ladies and gentlemen. Jamaicans worldwide are excited today as Google shows honor to Jamaican poet and activist, Mrs. Lewis Bennett. Coverly, also known as Miss Lou, on her 103rd birthday, September 7th, with a Google Doodle, the Doodle which is a fun surprise and sometimes spontaneous change that are made on Google logo to celebrate holiday anniversary and the lives of famous artists, pioneers, scientists, as well as you know, other illustrators. It is illustrated by Jamaican guest artist Robin Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a honor, a great day in the life of Jamaicans celebrating a honorary heroine. Yes, one of the names that's been called up over and over for the next national hero of Jamaica, the Jamaican poet, folklorist, activist and entertainer powered by country to take pride in its language and she proved right and its culture you know I said that is one of the realest of the real miss low is synonymous with being real yeah she is one of our empress when we talk about keeping it real as she we are talk about with the colorful dress and the head wrap known by many jamaicans as miss lou Bennett's social commentary and sense of humor made her a popular personality in the country. Google said as it provide background on who Miss Lou was, her journey and her contribution, the tech company thanked Miss Lou Simon Bennett Coverley Estate, LBC Estate, for their contribution and the collaboration on the project while sharing her son Fabian Coverley thoughts on Miss Lou's Legacy, ladies and gentlemen, the Google Doodle says Miss Lou Coverley, Ben Coverley, also known as Miss Lou, was one of the first Jamaican to use Jamaican patwa as a mean of artistry in expression. And you can learn more about Miss Lou, but I and I, man, being a cultural activist myself, have to express my gratitude and give you some more insight. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, now the artist on when she was, you know, approached to work on the project, the artist said, I screamed. It was just an excited event. I was so excited about getting to work at Google. But then to top it all off, have it to be about Jamaican subject and the subject being Miss Lou. I was washed away with pride for Jamaica, Smith said. Now, she also said that the doodle, she hoped people can learn a little bit more about the impacts of Miss Lou and what she is to the Jamaican culture. Now, and I'm going to give a historic background on Miss Lou. Miss Lou was born September 7th, 1919. Miss Lou received her education from Ebenezer, Ebene, Ebeneia, and Calabar. I always have a problem with that. Sorry about that, you know. Calabar Elementary School, that's her early education. Then St. Simeon College, Excelsior College, and Friends College, which is Highgate. She also received some, you know, higher education in England. Now, in 1942, Mrs. Bennett published her first book of poetry. 
dialect verses. This helped her to earn her British Council Scholarship to attend the prestige college of Royal Academic of Dramatic Art in London, right? The first black student to be educated at the Institute, but it was a trailblazer in every sense of the word. She went on to work at BCC, hosting the Caribbean Carnival radio program, all with continuing her study at the same time. Upon completing her degree, she hosted other programs like West Indies Guest Night and acted in numerous theater companies in the UK before returning to Jamaica in 1956. Bennett then worked as a drama officer and later director of the Jamaican Social Welfare Commission. In this role, Louise Miss Lou Bennett Coverley, as she is more effectively called, moved around the country to train village instructors and regional officers with workship, workshops like playmaking, improvisions, and more. She also continued to give lectures on Jamaica folklore in the United States, Canada, and England. Bennett went on to become the face of the host of radio programs of Laugh with Lewis and Miss Lou's View and Ring Ding, one of the longest running Saturday night morning children TV show on air, Jamaican Broadcasting Commission national shows. In 1998, the Jamaican government appointed Mrs. Bennett as the country's cultural ambassador at large. She was also inducted into the Order of Merit by the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II. Bennett was a champion of her country's language and culture, inspiring Jamaicans to take pride and honor in both. Now, Miss Louise Bennett was also given many many awards in Jamaica other than the cultural ambassador. She was also given the Norman Manley Award of Excellence, the Order of Jamaica in 1974, the Institute of Jamaica Musgrave Silver and Gold Medals of Distinction, and also she was given the honorary degree in 1983 of letters from the University of West Indies. The Jamaican government needs to step up them honoring on this heron. This is not only embarrassing for our Google to be honoring her more than us because we probably won't hear anything out of Jamaica other than probably two news clippings. No parade, no party. Honoring the Honorable Mrs. Lowe. So I just wanted to say, you know, reminding the people them that September 7th, 1919 is the birthday of one of our cultural icon. Mrs. Lewis Bennett Coverley, also known as Miss Lou, born September 7, 1919. So every September 7th, we should have the, the date sketched into our mind. Just like all of us have the Christmas celebration and all them thing that in your brain, the Easter celebration, we need to gain some more cultural indoctrination. Here we have Mrs. Louise Bennett Coverley, who is the pioneer in the preservation of Jamaica's culture, the preservation in the tongue, meaning the patois. She depend on TV, a talk like see a country she come from. 
I have a year wrap up like say yo she just come in from Nigeria or Kenya or one of the native countries out of the motherland. You are going to I made us proud of it all. Make us can go anywhere in the place and talk out loud in our patois. And boy I know say yo that is a praise. Yeah that's a compliment you Jamaican. Yeah man that's how you identify with. So I want to say you know, happy earth strong to Miss Louise Bennett Coverly. Yeah. And I know you're amongst the gods and goddess right now. So we just want to send your praises and let you know that we recognize what you have done for us. And we are trying to keep up our culture. Though you might not approve how we are doing it, but we are talking with Patwa. We still are wear with colors. And I shout it out loud. So ladies and gentlemen, we just ask you for share this. Give me a thumbs up. Leave your comment. I'm celebrating along with Google. I've provided a doodle for the covenant poet activist. The Jamaican poet activist. Louise Bennett Coverley. Yeah, Google has produced, provide a doodle celebrating her 103rd birthday, which is September 7th. Yeah, a great activist, the Jamaican poet, folklorist, activist, entertainer that empowered her countrymen and women through her pride of her language and her culture and encouraged us to maintain that pride. And look at us now. Look at us now. You have the president of the United States. I said, Wagwan Jamaica. More life and more joy. Yeah. Give thanks, Google. For that doodle of our honorary heroist, heroine, Miss Louise Bennett Coverley, on her 103rd birthday. More life, more joy, and a more pride. Yeah, Jamaica land we love. I'm Rastafari Soldier, ladies and gentlemen, Deep Roads TV. Yeah, bless up yourself. What a smile. Miss Lo, thank you very much. You keep it, you kept it real, and we are going to keep it real. That's the far right soldier. Give me a thumbs up, family. Hello, my name is Ashina, and welcome to the 